Hey, what's going on, man? Hola, amigo. Como estas? Guten Tag. Wie geht's dir? Welcome to the ninth and final episode of the Unity of Command Stalingrad campaign as the Germans. After this, we're going to go on the opposite side, play as the Soviets on the Stalingrad campaign, which is, you know, the base game. Then after that, we're going to play the DLC, which is Red Turn. That comes from, or that begins from Stalingrad to the end of the war. This last one is Baku. And I wanted to play this over again to see if I can't do a little bit better than what I have been doing. I got a decisive victory in the last one, as you can see here, but I was one turn away from getting a um, brilliant victory. So why have I played this before and over and over and over again? Well, because I played this before, I recorded the video, I got a regular victory on it. And uh, after I got done playing it, I played it a few times because I felt like I could get better, but I just didn't, you know, I just, I didn't get a brilliant, I didn't even get a decisive victory. And so last night when I was laying in bed after I recorded the video, I was thinking about this one. I was thinking, why am I doing that? And I'm going to explain to you in a second what that is. Why am I doing that? I should just do this instead. So I wanted to try playing it over again with my idea that I had at like two o'clock this morning while laying in bed. And I wanted to give that a shot. Well, I played it over again. And I ended up getting a decisive victory. I was one turn away from a brilliant victory. And I figured, what the heck? Let's redo the whole video. Let's see if I can get it to work. So here's Baku. The enemy is just as weak as you are. See this opportunity. We may never get another one like this in this war. Victory in 16, decisive in 13. Brilliance captured every objective on time, which is 11 turns if you look in the upper right hand corner of your screen. Scenario notes, Soviets received reinforcements from the Black Sea region west, it's over here, on turn 2, and from Soviet forces in Iran south, arriving at turn 8 down here. October 12, 1942, Axis forces succeed in making their way through the Caucasus passes, causing the Soviets to panic. In the ensuing chaos, the petroleum capital of Baku was within reach, even to the threadbare forces at von Mackensen's disposal. A victory here could change the outcome of the entire war. Now, I'll show you my objectives. Right down here is Baku, lower right hand corner of the screen. For some reason, it's just the map is made the way it is, and it's hard to see that. It's, it's kind of a pain. But I, I didn't make the map, so you know, live in, you live with what you get. Here's the supply source. We have one supply source, and it goes along these roads, these railroad lines or truck lines, whatever you want to call them. And uh, the weather. The weather is going to be a huge problem towards the end and well, especially around turn I think it's turn 8 turn 9 the weather turns real bad because we are in October and it's going to turn into a lot of mud and it's just going to screw everything up you know just it's just horrible so what I have been doing is I was playing and I would go along this supply line right here and like a double pincer move I would have one attack from this side these guys right here coming down this lane and these guys right here are coming down this lane so, so like a double or like a pincer not a double pincer but i was thinking about it why even bother playing around with this right here why not take these forces combine them to these forces over here and hopefully you know make a faster push that's what i was thinking about last last night because there's no objective here if you look the only two objectives down here i don't have to take anything and all my supplies are right along this road, so I don't need this supply line for Dilly Squat. So what I just did, and I'm going to do it again, is we're going to take these three units, maybe even just these two units, and we're going to go across these mountain range, or across this mountain range here, into the east, to link up with these forces and drive south. So let's take you here, let's take you up over here. Because these are some of my best units too. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this guy to try to use a stalling tactic. Just to keep this road open for a while. So that the Russians don't uh, take this road off and then these guys are stuck without supplies really quickly. I'm going to just attack with these guys, slow them down, and then I'm going to pull while I pull these guys across the mountain range. These guys are just going to back up. He doesn't need to be back here. He's going to come over here well uh, he'll just come right over here right now these guys are gonna dig in because I just have to protect this supply road right here and the other thing is if you look at their supplies they have a max range of eight but it's along this road 
So this guy, thinking he's going to be clever, if he decides he wants to try to push up through here and grab my supplies, bad news bears for him because they're going to get cut down like crazy by this mountain range. You can see just one right off my road, right into those mountains, no supply whatsoever. Although there is weather there right now, so, you know, okay, so it's one. You see from the supply line into this road right, or into the mountain range right there, it's one. So he's not going to be able to make it through there. These guys are just going to push as quickly as possible. Good. To try to get down as south, as far south as possible. And we'll take these guys, bring him down here. Alright, that's good for the first turn. So this first turn or two is going to be a little bit difficult because i got to pick up all these little strangler units here. But these guys have to be ready to go for when these guys cross the mountain passes, otherwise they're going to be out of, out of supplies. Now what you're going to notice is the computer is going to just load up with units right here. And really, that's fine, because that doesn't do anything to me. Ah, uh, we got bad weather, don't we? Yep. That's the one thing that's going to kill us right there, is bad weather. Weather over the mountains will not will prevent me from getting across. Just like it is right here. Let's open that little sp spot up so that uh, we'll bring him up here. We'll bring him right here so he can go one, one, one tile each to get across. That weather is what's going to kill me. have you attack him in a second you attack first you can play cleanup put some working on that guy these guys can just stay there to try to keep that open for a little while longer You can just stay here. You cannot... Well, you can entrench, actually, because you're on the mountain. Or you're not on the mountain. So here comes the reinforcements here, but they're just going to keep all these guys and they're just going to dump them right here. They're not going to bother, bother to bring them down or anything like that. Now, in the previous time when I played this, they didn't bring this guy up here. They didn't try to do a, a end around like they're trying to do, but I'm not the least bit worried about this because I'm just going to take this guy, park him right in front of him, and then he's cut off. I'll just bring him right there, and he's got what he's got a turn before he's out of supply. I'll bring this guy right here even. There, I don't have to worry about that at all, really. see the terrain so now they're going through the mountains right now let's 
So he'll be ready to go on the next one. And he'll need another turn yet. After that. And you can see because I held this road open down here, we kept the supplies going through. So it's, it's crucial that you hold this road open. And one unit can do it. I did it last time with just this unit. I took this guy and tried to bring him across, but he didn't. He was just too slow by the time that weather, the bad weather came in. He didn't accomplish anything. There. This guy's not even a concern. That made that easy enough, didn't it? You gotta get across. You gotta get across. You can do nothing. Cause you're not gonna, not gonna send you to your funeral. like that you guys can back up because we don't need to hold that open anymore there you cannot move actually you can move up one more so do it the quicker he gets through these woods and everything gets onto that road the better off he is wasting the reinforcements over here too this is the objective man that's the objective I'll bring these guys back He's back up to the front. Neither of those are good odds, so we're just going to park you right there. push you through as well. No, he's going to be out of supplies. He's not going to be able to attack on the next turn, but he'll be back right there, ready to go. And those guys are done moving. You can come right here, because I'm going to plop you right down. Well, I don't even need to make you go on a moat, because I got the better units I can put on the moat. Now when I get down to Baku, it's vital that I have this guy forward because he's got the Pioneer unit. He's got more strength than his Pioneers. Let's have you come right down here so hopefully you'll be back in supply. Yep. You destroy him. Let's have you get out of the way. Let's have you get out of the way. And you get down here.
Let's have you step back, actually. Good. You can go back to entrenched. You can go back and get entrenched. You as well. Perfect. Now, because they brought these guys up, it might actually be be better off for me. Because I'm not going to get choke point right here. You know, I'm not going to get throttled. And I would prefer... Let's have you come up here. You kill. You kill. Then I can actually move you right there, but I'm not going to do that yet. I'm going to have you try to force your way through. Like so. Now you come around. Put the pinch on him. How far can you go? You can come all the way down here. Perfect. Now we just need these guys to protect this this road here. Our supplies. And look at turn 8. We'll be right down here. We have all of our good units leading the way, too. Oh, these guys, yeah. I forgot about these guys. There. There. Looks good. I should be able to loop around these guys. So here's turn eight. Now here comes the bad weather. I'm just a little bit further back than I was before. Last time I went turn I was down here, so that might not work out very well for me. I am going a little slower. Nice thing down here is they got all green units, really. Four to one. Two zero. This guy's out of freaking supply. That trade. Back up. Can't entrench this guy for some for some reason. Probably because of the weather. So now we'll be on turn ten. We'll be one turn away from making a. Um, Brilliant victory. I don't think we're going to get a brilliant on this one either, but this is, if you're playing it, this is the way you got to do it.
And these guys, it's too late for them to get down here. The other thing is, when I played it the last time, I had these, I had two units down here in the city, fighting in the city. And they were able to pick up these little stragglers. There. You don't need to do anything. That's fine. Just to keep them away from... Keep them out of this area. That's all that's... That's all that matters. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this unit right here... To... Kill... This guy. Try to get this Panzer unit up there. So he did a lot of work there, but I don't think it's going to be enough. Breached him. Yeah, he can't get in there. And see, it's a pain. You can't really see it. I'm sorry about that, but... Looks like it'll get... Should happen on turn 12. I'll take this guy... Kill him. Probably take this guy right here to try to kill him. Bring him in and uh, probably gonna end up happening on 13. He can't attack either. I'll probably end up taking it on 13. Kill him so you can get out of there. He breached him. He's not gonna be able to get in there, is he? Nope. Just too tight. A little too tight. Turn 13. So I'm one turn late on this one, actually. It's because you know what happened? Is that weather? I had that bad weather, and that's what screwed me over. And there it is. Decisive victory. You know, I had 800 out of 1,000 last time. It's just that this that bad weather. You can see how something as simple as bad weather for one turn stores up your units and then your whole game your whole game plan is off. If I would have been able to get across one turn earlier across these mountains, I would have been down there one turn earlier and I would have had it on 12 rather than 13. Now, as to how to get it to 11 under Brilliant, I have no idea. But that's that's at least going to get you decisive on it. So, with that, please like, comment, favorite, subscribe. And I look forward to seeing you as the opposite. On the opposite side of the equation as the, as the Soviets fighting the Nazi horde back to Germany. So, again, please like, comment, favorite, subscribe. Especially if you wanted to see more of this Unity of Command stuff. And if you want to see more of it in the future... And uh, check out my other games if you don't watch, if you're not a big World of Tanks fan or whatever. Give them a shot, see what you think, let me know. And I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Take care. Bye.